Welcome to Get Teachers Started on Seesaw. Hi, my name is Yvonne Post, and I am a training and professional development specialist here at Seesaw. Prior to coming to Seesaw, I was a kindergarten, first, and second grade teacher, and then became an academic technology coach for pre-K through fifth grades. Currently, I live in Texas, and I'm so excited to be here with you all today. So why Seesaw? So when the right things come together, great things happen. So let's take a moment to reflect. How can technology support the great teaching and learning that is already happening in your classroom? So consider the following experiences. Here's learning experience A. A student gets a math worksheet and they complete it silently on their own. Here's learning experience B. Students get a seesaw activity and they get to watch a video to learn how to play a math card game with a classmate. So let's take a look. Okay girls, this time we're gonna play war with two cards and instead of adding the cards together to see who's got the biggest number, we're gonna multiply them. And then the big number gets to take the pile and is the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Got it? All right, here we go. I got 80. I am the winner. Uh, I got 20. Okay, awesome. So now, which would you prefer and why? So what are the differences you saw between these two learning experiences? Take a moment and jot down your thoughts. So some ideas you may have thought of, experience A builds on those narrow skills such as rote memorization and experience B is interactive and it's fun and captured on video inside the journal. So research shows that students thrive when they can actively explore new ideas and make their thinking and learning visible. We are going to spend our time together looking at how Seesaw supports students to explore and making their learning visible. Seesaw uses the platform, content, and professional development to create a powerful learning loop that brings together students, teachers, and families. If you are brand new to Seesaw, check out our learning hub at learn.seesaw.me. In this training, you will learn about the green add button, you will learn how to use Seesaw activities, and you will learn best practices for the Seesaw workflow. So let's explore our essential Seesaw tools starting with the green add button. The green add button is where it all begins. So when teachers tap the green add button, you will see this menu. And to post to the class journal as a teacher, simply tap the green add button, then post student work. You have access to all Seesaw learning tools to create your post. So for example, use the photo or video tool to share classroom moments. 
or use a combination of tools to create multi-dimensional announcements, resources, discussion questions, and more. Upload a photo, add text labels, use drawing tools, and even add your voice to create posts that get students excited, like this welcome post. When students click the green add button, they don't see the teacher menu. They go right to the learning tools to create their post. Students can share photos of their learning like this or capture a video of their learning like this. And so much more. The green add button is perfect for quickly capturing day-to-day -day learning moments. View post created by you and your students in the journal tab. The journal tab is the default view when you log into Seesaw and shows all posts in the order they're posted. To view posts by a specific student, click on their name on the right. You can also view posts by date. Tap the journal icon at the top right of the journal. Just note that this icon does not appear until something has been posted to the journal. Now it's your turn to explore. Pause this video now to create and view a post. Tap the add button and select post student work. With the video tool, Take a selfie and use the tools on the canvas to create a welcome post. Tap the green check and select all students, or you can save it as a draft and finalize it later. And finally, view the post in the journal tab, calendar view, and student view. The green admin is great for getting started. Seesaw Activities open even more possibilities. Seesaw Activities allow you to create structured experiences in Seesaw that transform learning. How do you get to the activity library? You can either tap the library icon at the top of the journal or tap the green add button and assign activity. There are four different activity libraries in Seesaw. My library is when you find Seesaw activities you save and create. Find ready to assign standards aligned lessons that build foundational skills that students need the most in the Seesaw lessons library. Everyone has access to a sampling of free lessons from every collection. These lessons engage students in multi-dimensional activities using Seesaw's powerful learning tools. As a Seesaw for Schools teacher, you have access to a school and district library. This is where you find activities created by your school, district, or fellow teachers. Finally, the community tab is where you find free activities created by Seesaw and our community of ambassadors. Our Getting Started collection is located in the Seesaw Lessons Library. These activities help you start your year on Seesaw. Tap on the Seesaw Lessons Library, then tap on Getting Started with Seesaw. Browse our collection of Getting Started activities. When you find an activity you like, tap the heart to save it. Find the saved activity in your My Library. Just remember, saving activities does not assign them. The instructional content in each lesson is used to introduce or review a concept and build and activate background knowledge students will need to complete the activities. Tap Present Class 
to present the introduction to the whole class. To assign the activity, tap the blue assign button. When you click assign, you see a list of your classes. Check the box next to one or multiple classes to assign to. To schedule an activity for a later date and time, tap schedule. Select the date and time you would like to share the activity with your students. All right, now it's your turn to explore. Pause this video now to find and assign an activity. Tap the library button and select Getting Started with Seesaw. If you find a lesson that you may want to use, you can save the lesson. Tap the blue Assign button and select Assign the Activity to your students. Now let's explore the Seesaw workflow. Assigned activities show in the Activities tab. Seesaw for Schools Teachers. If you schedule an activity, you see it in the Scheduled section. Students do not see scheduled activities until the chosen date and time. Here's the student view. Students see assigned activities in the To Do section of their Activities tab. To respond, they tap Add Response. If no template is attached, students use any Seesaw tool to create their post. If a template is attached, each student gets a fresh copy of the template to complete. Once students submit their responses, the activity moves from the To Do section to the Done section. They're ready to complete the next one. Now back to the teacher view. You can view student responses by tapping the gray bar on an activity. See which students have completed an activity and which have not. Just a note that all posts must be approved by the teacher before they're visible in the class journal. When there are student posts for you to approve, a red bar is going to appear on the bottom of your screen. Tap Review. Review each post and approve, send back, or delete. Note that deleted posts cannot be recovered. While approving posts, tap on a response to see the post. Engage with student work by liking the post or adding a comment. Comments can be typed or recorded. Audio comments are particularly helpful for those emerging readers and multilingual learners. Comments appear at the bottom of the post unless the post is sent back. When a post is sent back to a student, it is turned into a draft and the comments will appear on the Creative Canvas so students can see the comments and make changes to their work. Now it's your turn to explore. Pause this video now to view an activity and give feedback. Tap Activities, find your lesson, select Responses, and approve the post. To comment, Tap the comment button and leave a text or audio comment. You did it! You learned all about the essential Seesaw tools, including the green add button, Seesaw activities, and the Seesaw workflow. With these skills, there's so much more you can do on Seesaw. And there's a lot more we'd love to show you. Find more free trainings at learn.seesaw.me and web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.